Hello boys and welcome back to another video. So first of all, starting off the video, I just want to say thanks to everyone who stopped by and even joined in on the tournament that we hosted. And I want to say a big congrats to the winners, like the number one guy who took away the grand prize of getting the uh, Logitech headset, the G433. This one goes to uh, Victorox. He beat everyone. He beat absolutely everyone. Congrats, man. And second and third place went to uh, some Norwegian guys. And uh, they won like the Logitech mouse, the G603 and TCG pet. So it was a big, big success. There was like thousands of people dropping by the stream. Uh, and we had a, a lot of people uh, like concurrent viewers. So it was a big success. Something that I hope that I can do uh, more of in the near future. But uh, yeah. Back to the video, right? So it's been a really good week. We've been making a lot of gold. As you guys can see, 186 sold auctions, 309,000 gold, basically 310,000 gold, and just the first 50 auctions. So really, really good. I'm just gonna grab my calculator and type down the amount of gold that I have right now. So we're gonna see exactly how much gold we're gonna make. So we're gonna go through the list as we always do. And the uh, list of the farms that I did this week will be down in the description or comment section. Right off the bat, we see Mark of Sergeras. I farmed these by doing the Botanica. I haven't released a video on it yet, but I will do it shortly. We sold Star Belt Pattern, 61,000 gold. Star Belt Pattern is one of the big ticket items you can get from a lot of different farms. You can drop in RFD, Ulderman, Sulfarak. So really, really good. And uh, there's a lot of people who uh, who don't believe the value of these certain items, like Pattern Star Belt. Why would anyone pay uh, the market value is like 140k? And they say like, why would anyone pay 140k for a belt that looks like shit? Right? It's the pattern, and it's just because it's really hard to get. This drop chance is so so small. And there's a lot of people out there who just likes to collect every single pattern and plan in the game. So it's basically for collectors. Moving down the list, we have the super cooling module uh, that I, I got a few of these from doing the WAD transmog farm, the hyper spawn. Sold a few shirts, and here we have it, the shiv from my depleted farm. A lot of people watch those videos, and uh, the market value is like 60,000 gold. I sold this one for 12, but I believe I sold some more for like 15. And it's not bad because you get a lot of these. Moving down, we see some designs from Random Dungeon, the parrot from the STV farm. We have a poly. This one is good. Two of polymorph, the polar bear cup, sold for 40,000 gold. Really, really good. I just farmed these on my class travel mage. Super easy to get. Protector leg guards. I believe I got these from the stone guardians in the crater. And uh, then we have the camps. Like these battle pets are all camped from uh, like using my other realms, like AFK camp. I log on to them every now and then and I kill the elites and I get some pets. Really, really good. We have some Isle of the Thunder Batch of Tenacity. Like, this is also one from uh, the Depleted Farm and Blade's Edge. So, I've made a lot of gold. I will show you guys some sales uh, later on. Some more items from um, Isle of Thunder Staff of Natural Fury. I believe I got this one while doing Karasan. Dusky Boots is from uh, Saltstone Cane. Brutish breastplates, not really that interesting. We have some materials because I did do a volatiles this week, so we have some purite ore from that farm. And uh, battery tilt. This is this is one impressive uh, sale. Seventy one thousand gold. Well, it's impressive for me because I'm used to selling these for like twenty k. So selling this one for seventy one thousand gold is uh, is really really good. I'm happy with this one. Really happy. Primal mana, but yeah, like three hundred and ten thousand gold from 50 auctions and there's like 130 auctions left really really good i'm, I'm stoked to see what's uh, on the next page hopefully it's going to be just as good i doubt it though like 300,000 gold every 50 auctions that will be absolutely insane i mean we're talking millions over a million in one week which we haven't done since um the first weeks of legion we made, we made millions in the first weeks of the legion we haven't made millions since then, besides from when we sell a million gold plus items. Alright, so the next 50 is almost as good. God, are you shitting me? 273,000 gold from the next 50 auctions. This is going to be one damn good week. Alright, Jade Breastplate, got it from uh, Stone Guardians. Sells, sold for 60,000 gold. Lofty like Stone Guardian. Some volatiles, minor items, more primal mana. 
Robe of Whispering Sands. I can't even remember where this dropped, but it sold. More of the battle effects that I can. Seal Tomb of Lost Legion. I think I've sold a few of these. This one for 20,000 gold. Moving down the list, we have nothing of interest. We have uh, an Apexis Mace. 58,000 gold. This is also from the depleted farm in Blades Edge Mountains. It's insane. Like, I make so much gold from that. Volta Water stack with 13,000 gold. Not too bad. And I sold uh, three stacks of these. And um, Lofty Gauntlet, Stone Guardians again. And then we just have Grizzly Chest, Frey Island, or Whaling Caverns. That's also a good sale. Arcane Tomb. That's uh, Botanica again, which I will release a video on soon. Some crafted items. Water Bear Woolies, 9,000 gold. 9,000 gold. And uh, yeah. That was it for those 50 auctions. We made like over half a million already. And uh, we just started. Should be a good week. It has to be. It's already a good week. Already a good week. We can't complain. We can't complain. Let me see. Let's reload again. And we can take a look. This always grinds my gear. Like, when you when you get this much gold, it always motivates you to keep, like, at least get the same amount next week. It's not always uh, doable, but uh, you can always believe. Alright. Let me see. This is not bad. 178,000 gold on this clean out. That's not bad. I wonder what I've sold. Lofty Gauntlets, Stone Guardians, these uh, leggings is from Island of the Thunder. The kilt is for, I have no clue where I got the kilt. But once again, it's sold. Lofty Shoulders, that will be a Stone Guardians. And uh, here's the cloak. Like these cloaks selling for 5k, they're all from the depleted Blaze Edge farm. So I sold four of these, that's 20,000 gold. And here's the uh, the shivs, 15,000 gold each shiv as well. So we're making so much gold with that farm. Glorious Boots, Ice Avatar, selling for 6k. And uh, RFD item, Island of Thunder, more volatile water. Not as, so not, doesn't sell for as much, but it's still really good. All of these items, the to like time warrant obviously there's a guy who want the complete set he bought every single one of them this is uh island of thunder again more battle pets that i camp more like um uh, wad garrison the parts from uh wad farm and uh yeah that looks like it's it but we still have more auctions 36 auctions left We're actually up to uh how much now 3.2 million Never mind, 3.3 .3 million gold. This is really good. This is really good, man. All right, let me see. The last 36 auctions. And we will know how much gold we made. It would be cool to reach a million, but I would have to get a shit ton of gold in this last clean out to reach a million. 60, oh, never mind. 98,000 gold on the last clean out. Which is, once again, not bad for 36 auctions. Alright, let me see. 10,000 gold. This is the one that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, these are the keys they get from the Blaze Edge uh, farm, the depleted farm. 11,000 gold for a stack of 50. Insanely good. Really good. Bronze Welpling sold these. Three of those. Seal Tomb of Lost Legion again. More Pure Idor. Spirit of Harmony from Island of Thunder. And uh, this is a really good Volatile Water sale. 26,000 gold for a stack. That's like really good. How much is that? That's like 130 gold each. Yeah. It's been a good week. It's been a really good week. Now let's see how much gold we made. We had 2,611,000 gold. And now we're sitting at... If I could clean this out. There we go. Now we have 3,472,000 gold. So that means that we made 860,000 gold. 860,000 gold. That's actually the best week that I've had so far on this realm. And as you guys know, the winter event is coming up close. Like, it's coming this Saturday. The winter event starts. So I'm going to be farming a lot of regular farms up until Saturday. And then I will do a shit ton of uh, winter veil event stuff to just get the potions and um, the mounts. So uh, there should be... Uh, Whenever I decide to sell off these things from the events, I'm going to make a lot of gold. But at currently, we're sitting at like almost 3.5 million gold. So it's been super, super good. 
But as always, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, it can be about the tournament, gold making, it doesn't really matter. Feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I will do my absolutely best to answer every single one of them. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. And always like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.